In this video, we will discuss the compatibility or non-compatibility of the Petrel Terrier, also known as the Black Fell Terrier, the one I have here on the leash, and cats. So, this is a Black Fell Terrier, also known as the Petrel Terrier, a short coated variety, and cats are also pets that are often kept by uh, agents. And Nowadays a lot of people think that a Petterdale is just a, a house dog because they are quite easy eh? once exercised it can be quite easy for a hunting terrier to be kept this does not mean that they are the best choice for every situation first starting off with uh, cats cats are predators and very uh, good at it even your household cat is quite capable of killing uh, rodents and also mouse and very often also when they get in a fight with a dog can hold their own quite well because also the dog doesn't like to get hurt and the cat will bring the hurt because it has claws it has a good bite and they are willing to use that on a ferocious uh, in a ferocious manner and thereby they are often capable of keeping dogs off them even those dogs that are a lot bigger than them that being said if you look at uh, dogs that are also kept feral so they were once household dogs and then they went the feral way like some cats are also still surviving those feral dogs will very often kill feral cats and it's quite known that dogs are able to kill cats, especially if they have big prey drive. So the bigger the dog they are is, the easier they will just ragdoll the cat, of course. And then you might say, yeah, Petterdale is quite a small type of dog, so it won't do that much damage. But you could be very wrong. And why is that? Hunting terriers are very often being bred to deal with other predators especially foxes but also oftentimes badgers and the like in the united states they're also dealing with raccoons which are also kind of predator all these animals badgers raccoons and foxes are able to kill cats and they also do that if they have the possibility to do so so that could tell you something and very often a better will tell you will destroy a fox or a raccoon and will put up a good fight with a badger sometimes even killing it, it but the other way around happens at least as many times so that gives you some introduction and all the terrier type of dogs that are being kept for performance will have a high prey drive other examples will be Malinois and working type uh, shepherds but also border collie and the likes. But the difference between a, uh, a Petterdale Terrier and more of a collie herding dog, even those that are bred for protection work, they do not like to get hurt as much as a Petterdale does. So don't get me wrong, Petterdale Terrier is not a sadomasochistic type of uh, animal. No, it isn't. But it will keep on the job till it's done and will not uh, get scared off. So for example, if it faces off with a fox or a badger, the damage it receives is a lot more than that of a cat and still it will be on it. And that cat, if they would engage, they would, would, could be in big trouble. So if you're still in there and really want to keep petardils and cats together, which I normally would not recommend, but if you're taking this through and you really want to of course a lot can be done and uh, there are a few pointers one is to get the dog at a young age so it can be accustomed to the cat and also know its boundaries a little bit more that's the first point second point very important is never let them be alone together so for example if you go away keep the cat in one room and the dog in the other and make sure that they normally cannot interact. Third, if you get a cat, 
better get a cat that is quite capable of defending itself and also a little bit bigger. So what do I mean? You have very big cats like Maine Coon, Norwegian Forest Cat and Ragdoll that will sustain a lot less relative damage uh, with a fight with a terrier, for example, Petrodel Terrier. The other thing is they can hold it off a lot longer because they are a lot stronger. Fourth thing, if you go this route, try to give the cat some more hey, escape uh, possibilities. And keep in mind if you have a cat, uh, cat entering or uh, leaving the facility, very often times a terrier can just follow it there. But it will be a little bit harder for a terrier to follow a cat uh, in the height. A cat is a better jumper, better climber, but still petardils are known to climb several meters. So also there, this is just another way of uh, buying time. And uh, if the things go miss. Also, if your petardil and cat are playing very nice together, still please keep them separated when you're leaving. Because it could be that the petardil plays very nice with the cat and the cat plays very nice with the dog when you're around because they have some respect for you and that keeps them from getting at each other <coughs> but might maybe when you're gone and the cat will um, for example uh, keep on uh, running away triggering the hunting drive this could be completely different and then you get home with injured animals but uh, in my opinion you can do a lot of things especially if the cat is more uh, robust it has a better chance of uh, surviving a longer time and also if you just keep them separated there's nothing uh, that normally would happen because you cannot interact with each other there with that being said don't be unwise and think, oh, I just have a dog and they get along very nicely. It's just another predator they try to control. And if it all goes right, of course, then you were separating without need. But if it goes wrong, you will be glad that you did. And even a pup uh, can change once matured. Also, cats can change in their interaction. Have a great day.